Here, better to sing guy guy from Gary.com. Happy holidays and thank you for watching this video. So, welcome to part 2 of my in depth review of Windows 7. Okay, so. Okay, so. I forgot to mention in part 1 that the screen res resolution, when, go when you're gonna change the screen resolution, it's not anymore included in the personalization manager or properties window or whatever you want to call it. So it's no longer included here in the personalization. You can just you can now just right click on your desktop and then go to screen resolution. And then just change your resolution by just click this drop down list and then just drag the slider up and down and if you're wide screen everything I mean every size that it will give you will be widescreen. So this this is widescreen, widescreen, widescreen. So this is the lowest, this is the highest, the possible, the, these are the possible widescreen resolutions for your monitor. And also, the, the, the preview here is now also improved, not like the old one, like it's just like a box that shows a number one, the black box, so that's really boring. So I'm just gonna cancel this. Okay, so, what else did I forgot? And also, if you're not yet ready for Windows 7 or if you want tips for Windows 7, I'm going to make a separate video about that. And the drivers, I'm going to talk about all the drivers that you're going to need and all that stuff that you're going to need before and after installing Windows 7. I'm going to make a separate video for that. Just So just please stay tuned. Okay, also... The interface of the word pad and paint is also improved. So let's go to paint. Okay. So let's go to paint. Okay. okay. So this is paint and the interface now has been changed. This is now called the ribbon the ribbon interface, which is also used in Windows, I mean on Microsoft Office. 2007 and 2010 and so that's really awesome the the files here I mean the tools here are organized by organized into home and the and view zoom it out zoom it in here full screen and also the brushes you can also change the brushes you can also make it there are a lot of brushes here we have here Calligraphy brush and airbrush. So just choose a brush and make all change the size, change the color, and let's say very Okay. That's really awesome. The shapes you are organized. You can just set the shape here. They're also these actually these shapes are also new. They're not included in the old paint, and and the paint is really improved a lot now in Windows 7. So not like unlike in the in all the versions of Microsoft Windows, the paint is really boring and. It's, now it's re really improved here, so yeah. So let's go to WordPad. 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 Okay, so this is WordPad. Okay, it uses also the same the ribbon interface, which is also just used in Microsoft Office 2007. I already said that. So it's also categorized into Home and View. Zoom it out and zoom it in here, and full screen word wrap. And you can also insert a picture here. So it's really organized a lot. I mean, it's really organized. So that's just really awesome. And what else are new here in Windows 7? And also, I forgot to mention if you have here, there are, I think, what do they call this? I forgot. Okay, so you have your option to display a, men a menu of, let's say I have your notepad here in my start menu, 
and if you have your arrow if you hover your mouse there it will show you the recent programs I mean recent files you've opened or you made and also in Windows Media Center the recent frequent files that you that you've opened and the, ta the fr frequent tasks that you made will be all there and, and you can also change the settings of that into the properties of your taskbar so right click on your taskbar properties then your start menu then go to customize again you can change it to display computer as an item or as a menu or as a link let's try to use as a menu let's apply it and let's look for computer so as you can see here computer now has now these i mean this arrow and it will give you a a menu here a pop-up menu that shows all the all of the files inside computer so it's gonna use default settings okay 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 and what else is new i think there's something a there's a new feature here called math math i think it's math input panel let's look for math so it's math input panel these are used for equations and it's also used we have a touch screen monitor so just type here let's say uh, 6 plus 9 9 and I said 9 oh, sorry about that I'm just gonna just clear it so 6 plus 9 not A oh clear so let's type in here 3x divided by 2a blah 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 so this is used for equations and also if you exit it it will be just you just put your it will be just minimized in the background okay what else that we got the tablet pc input panel if you're if you have windows vista before i'm sure that you're familiar with this feature it's tablet pc input panel it's used for touch screen also it's like the mac pc input panel but it's not for equations you can just type in here anything so a b c d e f g or oh, not it's not k so that's really awesome and what else that i forgot and also the windows essentials you can just go here go to the get started and go to get windows type essentials it will give you like the programs like there are also microsoft secret essentials windows live messenger so just go to that it will give, go to your internet browser it will launch your internet browser okay okay so this is windows type essentials you can when you dash you just that when you download this file you can you can install Windows Live Messenger, Windows Live Mail, Rider, Polo Gallery. The, and also the new Movie Maker, I think it's, it's in the beta release. So just download, you can also download this. All links will be in the description. I direct this page again. And what else did I forgot? And also the sticky notes. You can just open it then. The sticky note here is add another one and exit it. A list of the new features will be in the description and also the snipping tool if you're if you have Windows Vista before you're familiar with this I'm sure okay what else the Windows Media Center is now improved so that's just really awesome and also another another feature I forgot is the action center okay so this is the replacement for Windows Security Center you know in the security center it is now action center and the interface is really it's really awesome it's really nice so 
organized, I mean it's categorized as security, maintenance, and troubleshooting, recovery, you can do whatever you want here. So it's now called Action Center. The messages or notifications about your computer are here. So yeah. And also so and also there's is this Windows DVD maker fast and scan so just check it out yourself so yeah thank you for watching this video guys please comment or subscribe visit my website at ingariga.com bye